What's up, guys? Double honor is what the Most High said. Double honor. That is what he is giving his children that have been obedient and disciplined, okay? 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 17 through 18. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, okay? Especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn, and the laborer is worthy of his reward. Okay? That's something to get excited about. Double honor. Some of you have been seeing twins everywhere. Some of you have been seeing multiple houses, multiple cars. Whatever he has promised you and blessed you to know that you are going to receive, he is showing you double honor. If y'all have received signs from the Most High with that's personifying double honor, put it in the comment section for those that don't believe. Glorify him by letting others know what you've experienced, okay? He also gave me another word from the Strong's Concordance, and I don't have it in front of me, but we're going to go straight to the meaning. It meant ideal, okay? Ideal means satisfying one's conception of what is perfect or most suitable the most i said i know it's been a long road i know you are about to give up he says do not give up he said at this point you can't even give up if you wanted to because he gonna pull you right back into the fold which is beautiful but he said he told you that there would come a time and this is for whoever it's for that you would not be able to turn back y'all remember lot's wife right she she turned the turned back and she, he turned into a pillar of salt. Okay, don't be like Lot's wife. Okay, don't look back in your past. It's your past for a reason. Okay, keep moving forward. Keep looking ahead because there are so many beautiful blessings that he has for you. Moving forward, not backwards. Okay, we don't move backwards in the kingdom. We keep moving forward. He said, what I have for you is ideal. What I have for you is perfect for you. It's the best possible. Whether that's the new job, whether that's your kingdom spouse, whether that's your new children, whatever the case, your new home, it is the absolute best that he has for you. And we know per Romans 8, 28, that he blesses those that love him with his rich, with Lord try to mix two scriptures together. Let's look up Romans 8, 28, just so I can give y'all perfect, perfect. Because right now, my head ain't in the game. And I don't want to give y'all two scriptures in one, because that's just wild, okay? That's why it's important to read your word. That way you can test my spirit. Because if I'm just telling you it is one scripture, you should be able to differentiate between the actual scripture that I'm saying or if it's another scripture. That's why he says test every spirit, including mine, okay? Romans 8, 28, and we know that all, in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, okay? Not yourselves, not your parents, not Satan, him, who have been called according to his purpose, okay? So, y'all remember that, okay? Because at the end of the day, honey, you got to know what you know. Just like he gave me in a previous word, you got to know what you know. And at the end of the day, you know that he's not going to do anything to harm you. He's going to do things to prosper you and move you into the beautiful life that he foreordained for you before you were even born. You hear me? That's beautiful, honey. That's all. That's it. That's the message. Peace and blessings, guys.